So the main components of sports drinks are salt, sugar, and water. Some complicated drinks have other ingredients like caffeine and uh, amino acids, uh, but those are the, the key uh, ingredients. Moderate to heavy exercise, uh, including running, uh, cycling, uh, are the kinds of exercises that if they last longer than 45 minutes, um, usually require uh, the use of sports drinks uh, to maintain hydration, energy levels, and uh, salt balance. The uh, main uh, issue is really just that length of time and the, and the level of, of activity. If somebody's activity is much shorter than that, then typically they don't gain any advantage by using sports drinks. In our dry Arizona climate, uh, this can be even more of an issue, uh, especially if we're talking about exercise over long duration, um, and sometimes even applicable to a milder level of activity, but especially if it's been for a long period of time and during the hottest part of the summer. Our uh, dry heat makes it hard for us to uh, estimate how much uh, we're sweating and how much water loss we may have. Um, and this is when uh, sports drinks can actually become very vital because uh, we really do need to replace that water and the salts that we're using with that sweat. One thing that people need to consider also is that sports drinks uh, pack a fairly high calorie punch to them. And so if your exercise, the level of exercise and the length of exercise doesn't really require um, a sports drink, uh, people need to understand that that's a lot of extra calories they might be adding uh, to their diet that they're not aware of and that they may not be needed. My name is Chris Finley. I'm a primary care family physician that works for Honor Health.